uh, Schluter is correlating feeding efficiency and per uh, feeding efficiency, which is performance and growth rate, which is fitness. Uh, this data was obtained from a previous study he did and was not from this 1995 experiment. So as we can see, these black dots indicate benthic individuals and this underscore indicates the littoral zone. This would be the limnetic zone. So in this littoral zone, which we previously saw is where benthics have the highest fitness, we see a high feeding efficiency correlated with this high fitness. And in this uh, limnetic zone, we see a low feeding efficiency correlated with with this low fitness. So both of these uh, findings in, uh, together indicate that morphology, performance, and fitness are all closely correlated with each other, which, strengths, which strengthens the argument that this process is due to divergent selection. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about whether that reduced fitness in those hybrids I was talking about would be strong enough to reduce gene flow between these two species. So a study by Gow et al. in 2007 looked at um, successive three-spine sickleback populations over multiple generations. So they collected data from 2003 to 2006 over four generations in Paxton Lake, which was uh, from the previous study as well, and Priest Lake, which are both on Texas Island in British Columbia. They collected individuals from three different life stage, adults, which were collected in April, sub-adults that were collected in September, and then juveniles that were collected in July. Once they obtained these individuals, they uh, genotyped the 10 G aculeatus dinucleotide microsatellite to determine whether they were genetically benthic, limnetic, or some degree of hybrid. 